Welcome to the Recon Trader. In today's video, I thought I would share with you when is the best time to deploy a Bitscap crypto trading grid bot. Now, if you're not familiar with Bitscap, it is an all-in-one trading platform that offers arbitrage opportunities. They have buy and sell signals. You can do paper or demo trading, but today we'll be focusing on their grid bots. Now, you do not actually send funds to Bitscap. You actually connect your exchanges through API keys to the Bitscap platform. So your money stays on your exchange and is as secure as it can possibly be on an exchange. So if you're wondering what type of investment is required to get started, you can actually start for free. They do offer a 14 day free trial. I will leave a link in the description down below and if you use my link you will receive the pro plan for free during that 14 day trial and that is the plan that I actually use. Now once your 14 day free trial has expired you can actually get started with their basic plan for $19 a month and that will get you two active trading bots. Now if you want to have a few more extra bots you could step up to the advanced plan and that would get you five active trading bots. And as I mentioned, I actually utilize the pro plan because I do have somewhere between 10 to 15 grid bots deployed at any given time. Now that's enough jaw jacking, let's get into the weeds. But before we do, if you're not familiar with grid bot trading, the objective is to buy the dip and sell the rip. And so a grid bot is made up of a grid of open limit buy orders and open limit sell orders. And so the green lines represent your open limit buy orders and the red lines of the grid represent your open limit sell orders. And so as the price drops and these green lines are hit by the price, you are buying at a lower price on the way down. And when the price action reverses and starts to rise and starts to hit the red sell limit orders, you are selling for a profit over the lower prices that you previously bought at. So with that all being said, when is the best time to deploy a grid bot? As is often the case in trading, the answer is it depends. There are actually several different strategies for deploying grid bots. Now the one I will be sharing with you today will be based on an event that just happened a few hours ago. And so if we jump over to the Bitcoin chart, just about 12 hours ago, Bitcoin was surging up when all of a sudden there was a massive sell off. And for me, when I see a massive sell off, that's a buying opportunity. I like to buy when everyone is selling and I like to sell when everyone is buying. So when this massive dip occurred, I began doing recon as to why all of a sudden we start to see this sell off. And if I switch out to another chart that is always on my radar is the S&P 500 index. A lot of times I can get clues from other global markets on what might actually affect the crypto market. And in this case, the S&P, right at the same time that Bitcoin started to dump, actually just a little before Bitcoin started to dump, had some indecision and all of a sudden started to bleed off. And this sell-off was actually caused by news, including fears of increased inflation, which in reality is actually good for Bitcoin and not bad for Bitcoin. So when Bitcoin dumped along with other markets and knowing the reason why it was dumping told me there was a probability for a rebound. Now, after the markets closed in the US, we started to see the crypto market stabilize and at this point when we get confirmation of the market starting to perhaps recover that is a perfect opportunity to deploy a grid bot and by deploying a grid bot I am hedging against the possibility that we might have another move down before we get our full recovery and that's exactly what we see happening however we are starting to trend back up so if I deployed a little too early, those bots actually were able to take advantage of this dip and now we're starting to sell the profit back up. And that is really the objective of my grid bots is to buy those dips, sell the rips up while the whole time acting as a hedge. Now for my day trade moves, I actually would look for confirmation of the full recovery and that might be where this candle crosses above the 9 EMA and it's above the 40 RSI, 
those type of things would be more confirmation to me that this is actually going to recover. And so for day trading, I'm looking for the full gains of this movement, where with a grid bot, I'm scaling in and scaling out for profit. Two very different strategies. And on top of that, before the buy and hold crowd goes too crazy down in the comments, I also have long-term hold positions. Now, this would not be one that I would go for a long-term hold on because the price would still be a little too high for me to buy in at this level. But if you bought in after the dip at, say, this level, at the same time I deployed a grid bot, your buy and hold strategy would actually be behind because I bought the dip also. You're still here. I'm buying the dip, making profit on the rip back up. You don't make profit until I've already made some profit on the move back up. Now you might outperform me if this went parabolic, but we're not. We're going sideways. So the whole time we go sideways, if you look, you bought back here. I'm making profit on all these dips and you're really not gaining much ground. So I'm not bagging on the buy and hold strategy. Again, I have long-term hold positions, but I also choose to hedge against those long-term hold positions, but also put to work funds that might not currently be in a long-term hold position and thus having diversified strategies for my investments. Now let's take a look at the actual grid bots that I deployed and how they're actually currently doing. So the grid bots I deployed after that sell off would be Adam, Dot, Uni, Soul, BNB, and Eagold. And so how I actually selected these pairs, they are pairs that I day trade on a regular basis. And again, I do hold long-term positions in. And I was well aware that these particular coins were approaching highs. And in this case, I had actually traded Adam as a double top and shorted it. But this double top, was at their recent highs. So I certainly didn't want to be going long at recent highs. And so what I was looking for was an opportunity to deploy a grid bot somewhere in between the upper limit of resistance and the lower limit of support. And you can see I deployed the bot right about $25, which would have put me roughly in the middle of this grid. And since I deployed the bot, the market was still selling off a little and got to move up a retracement and another move up. And so in this case, Adam has produced almost a 2% profit if I were to sell right now because of the increase of price plus the over half percent bot profit so far. And so to recap, my strategy was the dip in the overall market was my first signal to deploy a grid bot. And so I needed to find coins that were trending up near their highs, which would be resistance, and had retraced to about the midpoint between resistance and prior support. And so Adam qualified. And then the next coin we can take a look at would be DOT. And it had retraced all the way down into this level where I deployed the bot around 36. And you can see we have some a resistance level here in addition to the resistance level up here near its all-time highs. DOT is definitely trending up. And I could have gone off of the bottom of this prior support. However, I looked back a little further towards stronger support back in this region. And that would land me in the middle of the kill zone that I was looking at. And DOT is currently up 1.5%. And again, producing very similar profit to Adam of half a percent in less than 24 hours. Now the next coin was Uni USDT. And again, I want to stress, I trade all these coins. I have long-term hold position on all these coins. I have a pretty good idea of the price action for these coins. I never recommend you copy my strategies. These videos are intended as how-to videos, not how-to copy videos. And so if we look at uni, I was really looking at this most recent level of resistance and looking for prior resistance to become support. And we did see the price sell off into about that area. If you see where the price stopped on the sell off was down around 33.63. And looking back over here, we're at that same 33.57 to 63 level. And so again, prior resistance to prior support right about in the middle of that level. And again, uni is trending up. And in reality, had we not had the dump on the news from other markets, 
the probability of uni continuing to test this resistance level, there is the probability of moving back up to its all-time highs. And so deploying this bot down around this level here, even if we just make it back up to this prior resistance level, I will be capturing some decent profit. And with that being said, if you're not familiar with my grid bot strategies and you've not seen some of my previous videos on my objectives for grid bots, first of all, you probably should shoot that subscribe button so you don't miss out on future videos. But what I look for out of grid bots is a 1% per day profit out of the grid bots. And if we scroll down, some of the bots I already had deployed before the sell-off, like VET is accomplishing 1.6% profit per day over an 18-day period. Engine is just below that 1% mark. Matic is definitely winning the battle. It's producing 2.26% profit per day over a 17-day period. Ave and a second VET bot are falling just below that. And in reality, they were approaching that before this sell-off. Now, the other three coins charts look very similar. Sol, BNB, E-Gold all came down to about a halfway point between the resistance of highs and the lows of support. And being right in that middle of that kill zone, I chose to deploy these three bots as well. Now, Sol is lagging behind, but it does generally lag behind Bitcoin when Bitcoin is recovering. However, it does outperform Bitcoin when Bitcoin goes sideways or starts to go down. BNB is at almost 1% overall profit and approaching half a percent profit on the bot profit. And then eGold is over 1% profit so far overall and approaching that half a percent bot profit as well. And so I think that pretty much wraps it up. I just wanted to share with you one of my mini strategies for deploying grid bots. Also what I look for in coins to deploy on grid bots. And I will be doing an update video on how these six bots are actually performing in the near future. So now would be a good time to shoot that subscribe button. If you like this video, do me a favor, spike a like. If you have any comments or questions, drop those down in the comment section down below. I will drop a link to Bitscap in the description down below. And in closing, remember, never send your money into battle without first doing your recon. See you in the next video.